adding loops to an electron wave changes the wave and the resulting wave is higher in energy. The principal quantum number, n, is the number of loops an electron wave has. In 1D waves, there is only one type of loop. In 3D waves, like electrons, there are two types of loops possible, radial and angular. Radial loops make the electron wave higher in energy without changing its shape. Radial loops look like concentric rings around the nucleus. We can use J to refer to the number of radial loops. Right away, you'll notice that in 3D electron waves, the number of loops tells us about two important characteristics of the wave. The first one we know, energy. But you'll also notice that with 3D waves, size depends on the number of loops. This wave with two loops is bigger than the one loop wave, and that the three radial loop wave is bigger than both. The size of these 3D waves depend on the number of loops. Let's take a look at this n equals 2 wave. Notice that there are two ring-like regions of density in the 3D wave, which are like the 2D representation of the two loops in this wave. Which of the following are true about a 3D wave with four loops? A 3D wave with four loops is larger and higher in energy than a 3D wave with three loops. Be careful, these waves are not farther or closer, just bigger and smaller. The second type of loop that 3D waves can have, angular loops, determine the shape of an electron wave. These angular loops are also called nodal planes. Nodal planes will look like lines of zero probability node, hence the name. How many nodal planes are there in this electron wave? That's right, this line going down the middle of our electron is a line where there is no probability density. That line is our one nodal plane. How many radial loops are there in this electron wave? Correct. Recall that radial loops look like concentric rings in the electron wave. Here, we can see one ring that is bisected by one nodal plane. Therefore, there is one radial loop and one nodal plane. In this electron, there is one radial loop and one nodal plane. What is the principal quantum number? Remember that the principal quantum number n is the total number of loops that an electron has. The principal quantum number can be determined by adding the number of radial loops and the number of angular loops. And remember, more loops means more energy. Notice, however, that this does not mean that these two electron waves are identical. One of them has two radial loops and no nodal planes, and the other one has one radial loop and one nodal plane. But that this means that both of them are two loop waves. Every number of angular loop corresponds to a different shape. We've already learned that when n equals 1, an electron wave is in the shape of a sphere. In this S-shaped electron, there are no nodal planes. If we add one nodal plane to our electron, the electron will be P-shaped. If we have two nodal planes, then the electron will be D-shaped. What shape is this electron wave? That's right. Notice how this electron only has one nodal plane. That means that this electron is a P-shaped electron. Since it has three loops total, we call this electron wave 3P. What electron has three radial loops and two nodal planes? Remember that we can calculate the principal quantum number by adding the total number of loops. There are three radial loops and two angular loops, so n is equal to 5. We can determine the shape of the electron by looking at the number of nodal planes. Two nodal planes tells us that this electron is D-shaped. Therefore, this electron is a 5D electron.